Alchemy, one of the Fantastic Beasts from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. I have had many requests to make this specific beast, especially by Brit from Brit's Magic Trunk. I'll leave her link in the description box below. And uh, well, let's just get started, shall we? I am starting with some armature wire and tin foil. This is to make the sculpture sturdy and to have something to work on. I extended the rest of the snake like body with just tin foil and then I wrap it around with painter's tape. Once that's all covered, I'm going to curl it up into the final position I want it to be in and then tape the actual body together so I don't have to go around with the clay around the entire body but just to the parts that matter. Before putting the polymer clay on, I am going to add some Bake and Bond or Translucent Sculpey. Both work before adding the clay so the clay has something to stick onto. And then the smoothing out process begins. That took a lot of work. When most of it's uh, smoothed out, I am going in with this spoon-like tool. I will leave a link in the description box below where you can find this little case with tools where this one comes in as well, so you can get your own. And um, once I'm done with smoothing out and putting all the details in, I'm going to roll over the entire surface with this other tool that is a little bit um, bigger of that uh, snake-like pattern. This is where I'm adding the head. Now, this is different clay. The gray clay that you see is cost clay, which stays flexible after baking, so it's less prone to breaking. And the other clay, the, the, gray, the beige clay, is Super Sculpey Original. In the last video, you saw me use cornstarch, and again, I'm using cornstarch for this as well. This is just preventing all the fingerprints to show up and um, makes the clay less sticky so it's easier to work with. Now I'm adding the eyes. I'm just first going to have a look at where I want the eyes to be and then I'm going to hollow it out so I can place the cabochons inside. Let me know what your favorite Fantastic Beast is from the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them franchise. Mine probably is the Zowu because it is very, very much cat-like and I do like cats. Here I'm painting the backs of the cabochons and when you're using cabochons you can basically make the eyes in whatever color you would like. Once the cabochons are in position I wear, wiggle them around a little bit to make sure that they are in the right position. I am going to add the details around the eyes. Now, I was in and out of focus for this, I know this, but I hope you do like how they turned out. Um, it's basically adding two snakes of clay and then blending that in with the rest of the skin. On to the wings. I sketched out a little wing design and I traced over with a pencil. And now I'm just rubbing that onto the clay so it transfers and then I can add more layers. I am cutting around the base layer and on top of that I will add another layer and then on top of that one I will add another layer. This is so you can just basically make a 3D shape without it being very complicated and then once they are all together, I am going to sculpt it out like I've done here. I am attaching the wings with some liquid Sculpey. At this point, the entire snake body is baked, uh, except for the wings. And then sculpting in some more details before it goes into the oven for the final bake. On to the painting, my favorite, favorite thing to do when it comes to making sculptures or making anything miniature. I love the painting because this is where the project really comes to life. I start with a teal base or turquoise base. I will leave the paint colors all down below in the description box and then make like a mottled pattern of this purple 
and this really gives the snake its um, snake-like appearance or the okami I should say. The beak is a light beige color so I'm just adding that in here and that extends a little bit too over the eyes. I wanted the wings to stand out a little bit more so I made this light blue um, dry brushing effect over the wings and then I go over that as well with a little bit of white uh, but you will see that in the end and then a little bit of um, the detail still on the eyes as well and then we move on to the hair so from some yarn I made the tuft of hair that's on its head so you basically take a few strands and you uh, weave that onto a, um, a metal object like this skewer that I've got here and then you're going to brush it out with a metal comb um, head brush yes that's what it is I used to have cats not anymore but um if you have cats or dogs you probably have one of these brushes lying around and uh, first we're gonna flatten it out because it was a very 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 curly yarn and then brushing it out with that pet brush and then you will basically create your own tufts of hair for anything creature related or even doll related if you would like to Now, because I did not have any purple yarn, I am going to color mine with watered down acrylic paint. I say watered down because you obviously don't want to have it caked on. So I painted it, let it dry, and then brushed it out again. And that worked really, really well. Now for making the tufts of hair, I am going to add these little strands to some baking paper with PVA glue and let that dry and then you get this weft of hair then you cut off the excess glue and then you can take little parts and glue them onto your creature now i really love how this is looking but it's a little bit long so let's trim it off it's always better to start long so you can always trim it back you cannot glue it back on and this is the final result. I'm really, really happy with how this little creature turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. All my social media can be found in the description box below and if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, and there's a new poll on my community page. Don't forget to vote.